Because today is quite a special video. One, I'm not using the tripod. Two, I'm using my power bank because my phone is dying again. And I was thinking of making a second channel about computers. But I'll not be doing that. Um, I want to, to make another channel about uh, computers. But instead of that, I'll be making on my main channel computer videos. Unless you guys don't like that. Tell me in the comments. I, I'm... I'm open to that, I, I, even on his comments, I don't really care, just tell me what you want, shall I make an, another channel, or just make computer videos on this channel, I really need your help, let me know in the comments. The first computer we'll be taking a look at is this Dell Inspiron, um, how do we call it, this is not a um, main PC, I mean this big black one, this boy, um, this was my first ever, uh, this was my um, second desktop PC I've ever had um, it has a AMD Athlon X2 um, Athlon 6 um, no a full name is the AMD uh, Athlon 64 X2 5200 plus uh, it came with Windows Vista but my uncle which is the previous owner of this upgraded to Windows 10 it had two hard drives in it a 640 gigabyte hard drive that's now in the smaller one right there I'll be selling this one um, and another 400 gigabyte hard drive, so 640 plus 400 gigabytes. The it was a uh, it wasn't digital 640 gigabytes. Um, that one was a WD 6400 AAKS, I think it was. Um, and a WD 4000 KS, which um, no, not these two, not these two. The, we'll be keeping these for another day. Um, sorry that I'm not using the tripod. Oh, I'll just get my tripod. Don't worry. And um, this boy, the uh, WD 4000 KS. It's quite noisy. Um, both of them were pretty darn slow, but this one was a little faster at 43 megabytes per second instead of 35. Oh, my phone is so stupid. It just stopped recording and it got so unresponsive. Thank you, fucking Motorola. I just got my tripod now. Um. So yeah, it got two hard drives. It had a AMD Radeon HD 4350 GPU in it, which my friend has now because he's making a PC for his sister and he's going to use that um, graphics card apparently, but he still hasn't gotten any use for it, which kind of sucks because it was quite a good graphics card. It, it had a fan in it, so it was not uh, passively cooled, unlike this piece of crap. This piece of crap is, is worse than the in integrated graphics on this boy, I can tell you that much. <laughs> but it has 512 megs of video RAM. It was a very nice device. It was, um, um, I think, running. A, it was a 600 megahertz clock, but I overclocked it to 800 megahertz, and I got no problems whatsoever with overclocking it to 800 megahertz. But I did not do that on that PC. I did that on this PC, which I'll be talking about later. So yeah, um, before I'm gonna get um, uh, um what I did is um, first I want to talk about this PC. This is my first ever. Tower PC. This is a Dell Optiplex 780 SFF, or just a computer for business. This one, uh, I'll be selling this one. It was this expensive secondhand. This was my grandpa's PC. Um, it was quite a beast, and every single um, good piece of it is now in my main computer. It has a pretty slow Intel Pentium. I don't know the model number anymore. But it was pretty darn slow, it was just two cores, two threads, it's not that fast. Um, this one, by the way, is a 300 watt power supply, this one has a 265 watt power supply, so that kind of sucks. Um, oh, and by the way, I can show you that this one just works fine. It works totally fine. But there's no hard drive hooked up to it. This is a Philips 170C monitor. I'll be doing some uh, testing on the integrated graphics on this, which it surprisingly has. So yeah, it fully works, as you can see. So yeah, this one has a pretty sucky Intel Pentium. It has 8 gigs of RAM. Oh, let me just clean my camera lens real quick. Um, uh, and 1 terabyte of storage. And I thought, holy crap, this thing is an absolute beast. If you can't game on this, then I'll be absolutely scammed. And yes, I was. It had the most horrible graphics card ever, the Intel Q45 chipset. And it, it you got like... If you were lucky, you got like 15 to 10 FPS in uh, in uh, Rocket League. So yeah, it absolutely sucks. 
and I'll be selling it. And otherwise, you had to buy a inter, you had to buy a small form factor graphics card, which really sucks. You can't even put a normal um, graphics card in this. So don't buy these pieces of crap, I guess. And I was getting kind of um, kind of sad about that because my previous laptop that I had before this overheated every time. So yeah, it was quite a sucky thing. So yeah, and when I got this thing, after a little while, like six months later, I thought, hey, this graphics card just has to be better. Because my previous laptop had a Radeon HD 4500, which is a little higher end, but I thought, hey, if this thing can almost, uh, has almost the same performance, why, why is it so freaking laggy? So what I did is I uh, I got this thing and I fully upgraded it. I got to one terabyte hard drive from that one. Um, I upgraded it from two gigs of RAM to three gigs of RAM because I did, um, I intend to do four gigs, but that crashed the system. It does support it, but um, those two RAM sticks did not have the same voltage, so the whole computer would lock up and think it think it that's three point two gigs of storage. So. Um, it originally came with two gigs, so I upgraded it to three gigs. Um, the one terabyte hard drive on that one, I put it in there, and I put it the um, graphics card in this thing. Since my previous laptop had an Intel Core Duo, and an Intel Core Duo is absolutely amazing for gaming, I thought back then. So I put it in this one, and immediately when I saw the operating system, I saw that it had a clock speed of 3.5 gigahertz. Although it was a dual core with two threads. I was absolutely blown away and it was much more stable than this one. It was like 50 times more stable. It didn't heat up as much. Um, it was quite noisy, but uh, at least I w uh, sh um, shouldn't have to worry about the power supply overheating on this one. Because this one, this one has really bad cooling and to prevent the uh, um, power supply from overheating, I had to turn up the fans now, uh, up now and then. This one also really works. This was my previous computer. But then, yeah, the RAM started to really suck on Android on a <laughs> Windows 10. And I got a new computer for uh, my birthday, and that one has 16 gigs of RAM. So, yeah, no worries about that. I won't be turning on this thing, because that's quite a bit of work, and the bracket for the hard drive is out. But this one has a hard drive in it. Let's just turn it on real quick. Yeah, this one has this one is messed up. By the way, this is the only computer, old computer I have with a UEFI BIOS. If you don't mind the main computer I'm using now, that one also has a UEFI BIOS. My camera is not having a good day. This is yes, this is the computer I did the um, hard drive ASMR video on, and I'll be doing some more videos about that. Oh, it's not showing up because I uh, the VGA cable is not plugged in. But it will work. But there's no operating system system installed if I'm correctly. Nope, no activity lights. So yeah, at least we know it works. So yeah, that one also works. Um, um Yeah my um and if you wanna know my um my um my grand uh, my um my parents use a Medion computer, it has four gigs of RAM, a um, Intel Core i5, which is pretty sucky. I thought it was a quad core, but no, it's a, a dual core with four frets. Um, the worst hard drive in the entire world is Seagate's 2 terabyte one. Um, it is horrendously slow, even the mouse is starting to lag. So, yeah, don't buy Seagate hard drives, they absolutely suck. Um, the RAM is filling up after like 700 days. The hard drive has been on for 700 days, which is quite impressive, though. And this is also the reason why I don't have to, that much hard drives. The original setup ever on this one was 2 gigs of RAM, um, Windows XP, which I still have, I still have that, 500 gigabytes of storage, which is this boy, um, and I'll be keeping this just as a item, because why the hell not. And the hard drive was extremely laggy, um, but that's not Western Digital fault, that's just XP getting really unstable. I've had laptops with Corrupted uh, Windows XP's and System32 things just corrupting, so yeah. If you have an old XP PC laying around, upgrade to Vista, at least. So it will last a little longer. But yeah, upgrade this thing, and this thing also supports up to a terabyte of storage, so I couldn't upgrade it even further. Um, the original graphics card was this boy. 
Oh, and yes, this PC is manufactured by ASUS, that thing. That is an ASUS P5 whatever. This is a, this is the worst graphics graphic card ever. This is a NVIDIA G7200 GS by ASUS. And it's worse than the integrated graphics on that boy. So don't buy one of these unless you play like the dumbest games, I guess. Horrendous Wi-Fi card that does not work. It's for my friends. Don't mind it. We'll be taking a look at this beast in a different video. Some more hard drives. SCWD. And as a broken Maxter, this one is from a external hard drive, which is laying right there. Not gonna talk about that piece of crap. Um, but it just does not turn on anymore. It sounded just normal. It's a Diamond Max Plus Nine, but now it just doesn't want to turn on anymore. This boy, boy works fine. It's made in two thousand and seven. Just like me. This one is just a WD four five thousand AX, which is from that ASUS. Um, I use a WD ten SX in my uh, main computer. We'll be also doing a video on that. And this is a Seagate hard drive from a um, from the Packard Bell, Packard Bell system from my friend. But that system is broken. It's a Barracuda seventy two hundred point seven. Um, IDE and Molex, just normal. Um, this is just typical SATA, which I like. Um, well, um, the reason why I'm keeping this boy and not the uh, four uh, and not the um, six forty gig one because six forty gig one does not make any sound at all, and I love hard drive sounds. Um, two, because this is my only ever hard drive that supports, um, and SATA power, and Molex, and I really, really need that. Uh, not that my PC doesn't have any SATA power, um, it has both, it has more Molex than SATA power, which is kind of, kind of crazy for a computer out, out, uh, 2012. Oh, and if you're, and if you're curious, just Molex and SATA on the broken Maxter, well, it's, yeah, kind of sucks, I guess. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, I'll be doing some more computer videos, see you later.